the world's oldest first grader. In 2003, the government in Kenya promised free primary education to all. In January of 2005, one of the students who came to sign up for school was not like the others. Instead of being a child, he was an 84-year-old man. Kimani Naganga Maruga never got a chance to go to school as a child because his father needed him to watch the sheep. All his life, Maruga was illiterate. He could not read or write. Finally, as an old man, when the opportunity was there, he went to school to start learning. At first he was told to go home. This was no place for an old man. Then he was told only students with school uniforms could go to school. The teachers did not think Maruga would spend money on a uniform. But Maruga went home, sold a sheep, and bought himself a tie, striped socks, black shoes and shorts, and then went back to school. When the head teacher saw his determination, she let him start. Maruga became a very popular student. The children enjoyed playing with him, and he was a good role model for them. In fact, he even became senior head prefect, which means he had a special role at school, helping the children behave and study. Even the media heard that a school had an 84-year-old student, and after that his story was in newspapers and radio programmes. All this attention eventually led to some problems. Although Maruga was a good student, some parents were not happy that he was in the same school as their children. Some thought Maruga was getting too much attention from the teachers and the press, and all of this was taking attention away from their children. Others were sure that money was being given to the school and that the money was taken by the teacher and Maruga. This ended in arguments, demonstrations, and finally the Ministry of Education moved the teacher to another school. Still, Maruga did not give up. He stood up for his rights and his teacher's rights. He went to Nairobi, to the Ministry of Education, and asked them to give his teacher her job back. In the end, she returned to Maruga's school, and he remained her student. Maruga held the Guinness World Record for being the oldest first grader ever. He even gave a speech at the UN about the importance of education. Although he never finished secondary school and became a doctor like he dreamed of, he did learn to read and write and do maths, and he became an inspiration to many. I am very happy in my heart. Now I know about writing, and I can add one plus one. Unfortunately, there are still many children today who are unable to go to school because they have to work. Some work at home so their parents can make money elsewhere. Like Maruga, they watch animals or do other chores while their parents go to work. Other children are sent to work because the family needs the money they can make. Usually the girls are the ones who have to stay home. They are needed to take care of younger siblings or work in the house. The UN estimates that 75 million children worldwide do not attend school, while 215 million work, some of them full-time. To encourage parents to send their children to school, some NGOs and some governments provide meals at school, free uniforms, or even jobs that include schooling. That way the family can earn money even though the child is at school.